from Delivered Live, Polly Man. <laughs> And I bathe in heavy rain To hide to see the battleground I'm too numb to feel the pain I had a dream of ecstasy Of bloody mortal bliss But in my dreams of sympathy The point was so Of love that I get so wrong. I feel it don't belong to me anymore. Hey! Endless hours spent unveiling memories out. Again. Well, I'm teaching time to leave the past behind no bed again To have a world with sympathy to throw up on my way I bumped onto a hungry dog who will leave in disarray Again, how many times must it be? And hello out there in virtual uh, gig land. We're Polly Man. Thanks, Henry, for that divine intro. Um, we're going to play a few songs for you. Some newer, some have been out for a little while. Um, this next one is the first single that we ever released. Uh, it's called Japanese Rock and Roll. And uh, it was released on Bonsai Records. And it, uh, well, it goes like this. Two, three, four. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Um, this next song we're going to play is actually the second single that we released. Um, this one's called Inhibitions. It's off an album that I put out uh, early this year before all this crazy bizzo happened. Um, you can find copies of it through um, the Bonsai Records uh, website and you can find all that stuff on the socials. And um, yeah, make sure you get a ticket for Delivered Live because uh, all the proceeds go to the fantastic crew who put this on and you know, to the musicians who are playing. There's some great talent tonight. It's just magnificent. Um, but anyway, this song is called Inhibitions and uh, yeah, hope you like it. One, two, three, two, two. I've been playing the clown But I need help down from my stage I put myself in these painful positions Where I feel I need to please Every face that I meet I'm in a cage My brother who will tell me how it is I'm not very old did I mention that my whole life really seems like a convoluted dream that I live
much. Thanks, everybody. Um, all right. This will be our last tune for the evening, um, as we don't want to take up too much time, because, yeah, if you haven't got a ticket already, really do get one, because there's so many great people that you'll want to support on tonight. I'm particularly excited to see Olympia. Um, she's fabulous. Uh, but everyone's great. And um, this last song is a new one of ours uh, called Cinematic Grace. And we've been Polyman um, on bass guitar. That was uh, Alistair Hull. Oh, two more. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, well, oh, geez. Um, should we do uh, walking or cinematic? Second last. Walking? Okay. So we're not going to do cinematic grace. We've got everything you just heard. Uh, but that is Alistair Hull. So give him a virtual round of applause if you could. Can't hear it. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's coming through. Um, and on bass, we've got the magnificent... Uh, there's a bass drum. Uh, we've got the magnificent Fen Wilson. So uh, give him a uh, round of applause. <laughs> All right, that's good. Uh, I'm satisfied. I don't know about you guys. Okay, uh, this one is a rocker. It's called Walking in Circles. And um, I don't know, I guess it's applicable to uh, today's situation because it's all about feeling like you're just going around and around and around uh, every day and um, not knowing where you're going. Um, but it's okay. So this song's called Walking in Circles. We hope you like it. <laughs> I'm walking in circles, I'm tripping on hurdles that get in my way To keep up the act and put on the face that I know how to play I'm talking in circles, the clinical search for a memorable life To say when I reach for a subliminal signal, some kind of sign sip of uh, some of my magic water. That's good. All right. Uh, this will be our last tune for the night. And um, thank you again so much, Delivered Live, for having us. And uh, yeah, it's been an honor. This one's called Cinematic Grace. And um, this will be our last song. We've been Polyman. And thank you very much, everybody. All right.
Yes, indeed. Polyman, how about that? Incredible gig in complete isolation here in social distance and delivered live. But you know what? I can see you. We can take advantage of this here situation. It's not the average gig that I can see you with your feet up on the ottoman, nursing your pet. What are you eating? Usually at a gig down at the tote, the best you're going to get, with no offence meant to the tote whatsoever, the best you're going to get is a, a dodgy bag of Smiths. But you, I've, I've been seeing your Instagram feed. It's been full of cooking braised ribs for the first time. You're trying your hand at sourdough, at homemade pasta. I can see you cutting, chopping, dusting the flour board. You know, I want you to show me what you're eating tonight put it up on our socials you can follow us everywhere at delivered live we are easy to find and in that spirit just for rsvping tonight jane duffy you have won a delivered live merch pack head to deliveredlive.com.au and you can see how you can be balling walking down the street decked out in delivered live leisure wear t-shirts the journey uh, continues. Les Sutherland has brought, bought a ticket every single week and you too have just supplemented your experience by buying the uh, leisure wear pack over at deliveredlive.com.au. And because we're the sort of people we are and we also want you to cover up your head, we're throwing in a free beanie. How about that? Free beanie for Les? Yeah. Yes, Les. 
We'll stuff it in the post pack for you. Thank you for joining me, Henry Wagons, here at Delivered Live. We just saw Polyman, absolutely incredible. We're going to chat to singer George in just a minute. Uh, I loved what Kerry said as the uh, YouTube comments were flying past. We have Michael Gadinsky on the show, and Kerry said, I hope. Michael Gadinsky's taking notes as Polly Man's playing. Let's sign him up to a multi-million dollar deal here on Delivered Live. That's the kind of magic I want to happen here tonight. Um, without further ado, let's welcome George Wilson from Polly Man. Hey, how you doing? How you feeling? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. That was incredible. It was amazing to Thank see you me. play. Thank you very much. It was so good to play again. Um, We've all been kind of holding out for weeks. So you haven't played a gig in ages like so many other yeah, musicians the last, around? Yeah, uh, the last Polyman gig would have been about halfway through March, I think. Or maybe not even since the album launch, which was like at the end of February. Yeah, you just put out a self-titled record, We right? did, yeah. Which, a, a link to your merch is available on Delivered Live. Ah, oh, excellent. Uh, .com.au cool. as Thank well. You. you can buy all the artists that appear on the show tonight over there. Um, has merch been a bit of a lifeline keeping the lights on at the moment? Well, truth be told, I'm not actually in charge of my merch. Um, I recorded That's good. the you, album, you... but it's um, it was yeah put out by uh, Bonsai Records, Ella Jeffries, who, who runs that. And, um, yeah, she needs all the help she can get as well. So um, For sure. Yeah. I think with... Uh, uh, and with earrings like that and an outfit <laughs> yeah. and a get-up like you have got, I want... <laughs> a whole cavalcade of people looking after every single task you need to do in your everyday life. That would be nice. <laughs> it's, um, I, there was an incredible question. Uh, there was a lot of talk online about the incredible talent, your voice, your vocal range, well, nice. but also the appearance. A lot of people are intrigued. What's your favourite op shop in Melbourne? In particular, oh, Lisa dear. wants to know. Okay, well... Um, Firstly, was... is that an insult? Do you op no. shop? Yeah, yeah, I, I just... I solely op shop. Mm. Yeah, I haven't bought clothes, like, from a new, uh, a new store for about, I don't know, maybe six years or you something. You don't slip on a Target pair of undies every now and then? No, nah, not generally. <laughs> um, no, I, uh, well, I got these DAX from a friend of mine. Um, he, um, he must have got them from some cool shop in Melbourne, but I used to frequent uh, the Retro Star warehouse sales. They were always a treasure trove. Um, Where's Retro Star? It's in Brunswick. They've yeah. got a shop, like a proper shop. Um, I'm not exactly sure where that is, but the, um, the warehouse stuff, which is where people just bring in all their stuff and it's massive. Um, that's every, it's like every second Saturday of the month uh, in Brunswick. And um, Oh, Salvos and Vinnies, you know, just the, just the good old ones. Um, As you're doing some touring and playing around, do you, you know, are you guilty of pulling off the road if you see a good Salvos that looks... Um, we usually try to include it, yeah, whenever, whenever we're in a, you know, in some little country town. Those ones are always the best. We are supporting here on Delivered Live, keeping a gig economy going and keep, keeping, you know, live musicians, entertainment people behind the scenes, bookers, ticking, ticketing agencies still in the loop in today's gig economy that's been so ravaged by all this viral shit. Mm. <laughs> um, what venue have you nominated to get supported by Delivered Live tonight? I've nominated Pistol Pete's in Geelong. Um, right. It's a... It's just a staple venue in Geelong. It's like he always treats musicians really well. Um, the food there is fantastic. So if you ever swing through Geelong, go to Pistol Pete's on Little Mallop uh, and he'll serve you up a, a hot bowl of gumbo or uh, some pulled pork or any number of things. I partake in the tofu burger because uh, I'm a vegetarian. Um, but um, I'm scared to ask, why is he called Pistol Pete? I'm not sure. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't generally He's tell never people divulged. that. It's better not to ask. You and your family go way back in and around the, you know, hood of Geelong, right? Mm -hmm. Is yeah, that where absolutely. you're based? Pretty much, yeah. Like, um, me and Fen, uh, well, we started as babies in Melbourne, um, but we moved down, yeah, to the Geelong area. We moved to a little town called Ocean Grove for a couple of years when I was only about two and then we moved to an even smaller uh, like coastal town called Clifton Springs and that's where I lived for the next uh, like 16 years and then um, I moved out back up to Melbourne uh, like three years ago now. Um, yeah and that's how we formed the band. Um, the band sounding incredible. Thanks, how did Henry. you get sounding so tight unable to rehearse? How did you get well, it together? Well 
Uh, well, I'm playing with very talented musicians, which helps. Um, you know, thanks to the advent of, uh, you know, digital sharing and social media and stuff, we can send songs to each other and listen and practice at home. And um, me and Fen have been uh, bunking together uh, at our family house in Clifton Springs. So we had a practice uh, a couple of days ago and we've, we've been playing, you know, we've been playing a bit. So it's kind Nailed of all, it. it's all soaked in to the muscles. Your brother's on drums and is your is, family yeah. have an epic musical pedigree. Yeah. Your dad, Sa uh, your, your mum, Sarah Carroll, <laughs> yeah. your dad, Chris Wilson. Yeah. Talk about how your parents influenced your musical upbringing. Um, I guess just taking us to gigs every weekend and, you know, uh, playing records all the time, showing us stuff. They really wanted us to just take in as much as we could about music because... You know, there's a lot about you that makes me think your parents' record collection had a heavy impact yeah. on you because there's an el there's a retro element. You know, it yeah. seems like you are from decades past. A lot <laughs> yeah. of people online mentioned Bowie. How do you feel well, about that? I, I, I just don't really know what to say when people say that. It's like the biggest compliment I could get because he's, you know, he's like my, my number one... There you go. You're just sucking up one to man. George here, yeah. people. That's all. Um, yeah, but uh, a lot of the stuff... Uh, it, 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 it was kind of the case of I'd think I'd discover something because my parents mainly listened to, like, Dad listened to a lot of, obviously, a lot of blues and folk uh, some and rock, you know, like classic rock. And Mum listened to a lot of country and bluegrass and rockabilly and that kind of thing. And I'd think that I'd stumbled upon something, like I got right into the small faces, uh, like, at the uh, end of I high school. I can hear it. I can hear it in Thank there. Thank you. Um, and, um, yeah, I was lucky enough that I'd go, yeah, I'm getting into the small faces. And then Dad and Mum would say, oh, yeah, we've got all their albums. And For I'd those just... that haven't put two and two together, when we talk about someone having the best parents ever, you know, you might know Dad as the legendary Australian blues musician Chris Wilson. I, I played so many gigs as Wagons was up and coming mm. with Git as yeah, well, yeah. you know. Talk about having great musical parents. Yeah, absolutely. Did you kind of... It seems your music of Polyman is kind of embracing that retro era. Was there a time, like an embarrassing kind of new metal phase you went to when you were rebelling <laughs> against their good taste? <laughs> no, not really. No, I, I didn't have a terribly rebellious uh, teenage period, I'm sad to say. There aren't uh, too many... You know, I had a fringe at one point. But, um, no, I because I, I just kind of knew that they knew more than I did about music. Um, I was in a band before Polyman, which was like a psych rock band. So still, you know, I was always interested still in old cool. music. Yeah, I like to think so. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know, I've always been influenced by old music. When I was a tiny kid, I used to love Kiss and I used to love, um, uh, who else? Yeah, you know, old classic rock bands like that. My favorite movie was Grease. It, yeah, it was like I was born into, you know, 1978 or something in many ways because my mum showed me so much stuff from her childhood and um, that's, yeah. that's what really influenced me. It's my know. kind of time warp and, you know, I can tell you the I'm overwhelmed by the number of um, clapping emojis we got throughout <laughs> yeah. your set. Um, <laughs> that's lovely. What does a day in isolation look for you, George? Um, <clears throat> well, I usually, uh, I usually rouse myself at about... <laughs> At about midday. Why not? Typically. Exactly. I don't have anywhere to be. Um, and I'll get up and I'll make myself a nice breakfast or some kind of egg uh, dish. Um, and I'll eat it with, you know, my family and my dogs. And um, If you were home now, what would you be eating? We're, we're giving away a couple of slabs of Young Henry's Ooh. to whoever posts the best meal that you're eating right here, right now, watching Delivered Live. Do it. Young Henry's beer could be yours to accompany all Yummy. five food groups. What would you be eating now <laughs> if you were eating? Right now, I'd be partaking in a Thai red curry with tofu and vegetables and coconut rice. Can you tell I'm hungry? I'm obsessed with food yeah, here I'm, tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a bit peckish. <laughs> You've been working hard. <laughs> tell us uh, what's in store for you over the coming months to the extent to which you know. Um, <clears throat> the extent I know... Uh, I don't know if there's a like there's another thing that me and Fen did a few weeks back for this thing called Sound Doctor. I'm not sure if that's aired yet, but that's another streaming gig. Um, I've got a single coming out pretty soon. Um, it's 
positive. Uh, it's kind of about the state of affairs at the moment. Uh, and, As in positive of the coronavirus? No, no, no. <laughs> well, it doesn't really mention the coronavirus explicitly, but it's called Dying Alone, which oh. sounds pretty dark. But it's, it's, positive. it's a funky rock track, so it'll make you feel okay. <laughs> It'll make you feel in the middle. I think the best way to embrace this is hurtle headfirst into the existential, existential oh, void yeah. with a smile on your face. Yeah, it's exactly. the only way. And bongos. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Exactly. For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for chatting. George from Polyman, George Wilson.